Constitution, Democratic, Libertarian, Republican, United Utah. Where is it? It should be in this list. If it is not here, what happened to it? If it really is gone, what will I do? It is now May of 2021, and this is a Utah voter registration form that I found online a week or two ago. What I see on this form is not encouraging. If the Utah state government does not recognize as a party the party that I support, then my party will not be on the ballot for the 2022 election. And its candidates will not be on the ballot. How would you feel if suddenly your party and its candidates were not on the ballot? How would you feel if your party mysteriously disappeared? Welcome to Dutiful Citizen, the channel that helps both you and I learn to be better citizens so that we are more worthy to receive good government as a blessing from God. Please remember that I, Warren Rogers, do not have the authority to speak as a representative of God or of any church. I am your fellow citizen, and what I say is my opinion. As a dutiful citizen, why is a political party important to you? I answer that question, speaking not just to you, but to the supermajority of the citizens of Utah who are members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and I invite the rest of you to keep watching so that you will know what I said to your fellow citizens. Please recall that we sustain not only the president of the church, but also his counselors as prophets, seers, and revelators. Therefore, most people who watch this channel recognize Dallin H. Oaks, first counselor in the first presidency, has the authority that I lack, the authority to speak as a representative of God. In the April 2021 General Conference, the first sermon of the Sunday afternoon session was Defending Our Divinely Inspired Constitution by President Dallin H. Oaks, First Counselor in the First Presidency. Quote, We should be knowledgeable citizens who are active in making our influence felt in civic affairs. In the United States and in other democracies, Political influence is exercised by running for office, which we encourage, by voting, by financial support, by membership and service in political parties, and by ongoing communications to officials, parties, and candidates. To function well, a democracy needs all of these, but a conscientious citizen does not need to provide all of them. End quote. I have shown you a quote, about 40 seconds long, from a conference talk over 15 minutes long that is a treasure trove of information about the duties of citizens. The Dutiful Citizen Channel will return to this talk repeatedly in future episodes. Churchofjesuschrist.org, the official website of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and I will show you how to find the talk by President Oaks that I quoted from. Magnifying glass brings up a search field. April 2021 General Conference. You do see it's April General Conference, Church of Jesus Christ.org. So I click on that first result. April 2021 General Conference. These sermons are organized by session. The Saturday morning session. Sunday morning session, finally Sunday afternoon session. This was the final session of conference, Defending Our Divinely Inspired Constitution. Click this. There we go. That is the same talk that we saw before. From the home page, it is also possible to find that talk by searching for it directly. Defending Our Divinely 
inspired constitution. And here is that same talk. See, same thing. President Oaks teaches us that a democracy needs at least some of its citizens to be members of and serve in political parties. For a few years now, I have been serving in a political party to some extent. Thank you for explaining why a political party is important to you as a dutiful citizen. What if your party just disappeared? What should you do? What would an ideal citizen do? What would please the Lord? I must engage while remembering that as a disciple of Jesus Christ, I should be civil and charitable. Small parties such as these that you saw on the voter registration form, Constitution, Libertarian, and United Utah, have more of a tendency to appear and disappear than the big parties, Democrat and Republican. When I have seen small parties removed from the ballot in the past, it was because they had not received the votes required by law for them to remain on the ballot. Utah po 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 political parties, and we will see what this search result produces. Ballotpedia.org, electionsutah.gov. Registered political parties in Utah. This is what I want to see. Registered political parties, that looks good. This page is no longer supported by the Utah Lieutenant Governor's Office. Well, I am not pleased. Because in the past, the Lieutenant Governor's Office has maintained a page that shows the list of political parties that are currently considered registered in Utah. Now here is registered political parties. I click this. It's the same message that, oh, we're not going to tell you that anymore. When dutiful citizens encounter a problem, they do not give up. Instead, they search for a solution. How else could I find out what political parties are currently recognized by Utah government? Think, think, think on a voter registration form. The officially recognized parties are listed. When registering to vote, a citizen can choose to affiliate or not affiliate with any recognized party. Thus, I was looking at this voter registration form when this video began. Should I inform the party officers that our party is off the ballot? They act officially for the party, not I. Or should I attempt to solve this problem even though I do not have the authority to act officially for the party? God will solve the problem that my party faces. As a dutiful citizen, I feel that there is some chance that I can be an instrument in His hands, and I want to be an instrument in His hands. This channel's mission is to help both you and I learn to be more dutiful citizens. Will you please understand? that what I am about to attempt is an example of the kind of service as a dutiful citizen that one day you will want to provide and will dare to attempt if you stay with me on our dutiful citizen journey. Will you please watch the next video in this series about my disappearing party so that you can easily find the follow-up videos. I have made a playlist on the Playlist tab, click. Its title is My Disappearing Party. Furthermore, I will put a link in the description below this video. A link to this video itself as it appears within the playlist. This has been Dutiful Citizen Channel Episode 12, My Disappearing Party. Will you please comment, like, share, and subscribe. Doing any of these things helps to grow the channel.